We have to touch it because it's a big part of uh, your your past, yeah, and, and and your story, and you know one that you've uh, exploited as of late. Yes, big is that time. You were sick when you were little. Yes, I yeah, mean, not little. You were. A I teenager. was a teenager. Yeah. yeah, when I was fifteen, I was diagnosed with childhood leukemia, mm -hmm. and I had treatment. And well, this will bring up another story with my brother. I had treatment until I was like a like. 17 so like for a couple years which is the standard like treatment for that mm -hmm. and is it chemo radiation it chemo, yeah i had chemo and i had like 10 days of radiation mm. um and yeah so it was a difficult time but i um i really my family was very supportive jonah was always really supportive and um and I, I don't mean to skip ahead like past this, but it really made me think of a funny story, which is that. Please do. This, you know? So I was done with treatment like the summer before my senior year of high school and I had an end of chemo party. That's kind of how I was doing it, okay? <laughs> like I was like, I'm not hiding from the attention that this illness of gives me. Of yeah. You know, always loved attention. And I'm gonna obviously have a party to celebrate my end of chemo. Of what, course. Yeah. So my brother and his friends, like I had, I had people over to my parents' house and my brother and his friends like played, I got my brother to play like music in the backyard. And I thought it was so cool because Jonah and his friends were like performing in the backyard. And then there was like a noise thing where like one of the neighbors called the cops or something like yeah. that. And so the the police came over and they thought we were having like an underage drinking party, which it's like, hey guys, it's an end of chemo party. And once you figure that out, you're gonna feel like really big assholes. <laughs> so they were like going through their, and then my parents, were, and we were like, it's an end of chemo party. And the cops, I think felt, they're just doing their job. But like, right, I think right. they felt really bad because it was like, uh, why don't you go deal with the real criminals, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoever but, called this in. Yeah. Why don't you go arrest them for being bogus? <laughs> yeah. But it's just so funny because thinking back on my brother at that time, so like if I was a senior, or I was almost a senior in in high school and my brother was like almost a sophomore, I guess, in college, like he, they were probably just playing like crazy stuff. Like it probably wasn't even. Probably just a mess. Yeah. Just From like, the neighbor's house, it just sounded like bass feedback. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and I was like, this is awesome. I want everybody to hear this. Like <laughs> all my friends from high school are gonna think I'm awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. What ways do your life, did your life change? I mean, yeah. uh, it, from having that, like in the middle of high school, you're kind of yeah. pulled out of. Totally, you're sort of sidelined from yeah. things in a lot of ways. Um, I think that it made me, um, it it sort of, yeah, it sort of sidelined me in certain ways. And I think in some ways it made it, once I went to college and stuff and was on my own, I really felt like I was playing catch up a lot and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, but in other ways, I think it sort of made me, it sort of like was the beginning of my like comedy career because I realized that with my friends, if I would joke with them a lot, they would feel comfortable around me right. and they would feel like I was the same Vanessa and everything. And my parents and my brother like would always be joking about it. Like we would joke a lot about um, like this special treatment that we got, which is sort of um, has is has sort of made its way into my show. I love that for you because mm -hmm. it's like just just the way we would get treated and um, and even the doctor's appointments and sort of just the way I don't know. It just there was something there was sort of like we found humor in all of it mm -hmm. and it really like I just remember joking about it with my friends and just it felt so nice to be able to do that and I think it like. I think because that was such a powerful thing when I was sick, it sort of was I, later when I realized I wanted to do comedy, I think that, I don't think I knew it at the time, but I think that had a lot to do with it. Cause mm. I was like, this is such a like healing thing. And it's such a great, like sort of common language for everyone to speak when you're going through something yeah. so hard. Yeah. I always think it, it's fighting back. Too. Yeah. It's fighting back. It's like, you know, not, I mean, not to be corny, but yeah. it's like there's a lot of darkness. So it's like, hey, totally. I'm going to make some light, li you know, light meaning two different things. Like, you know, getting rid of the darkness, but also, hey, come on. Yeah, you know, let's, yeah. And, you know, sometimes it's whistling past the graveyard, as yeah, they say. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of times it just seems like, no, this is what, this is what needs to happen yeah, in times like that. totally. Do you feel like... Do you think you'd be in the same place if you hadn't been sick? I don't know. I have really, you thought about that? I before? have. I've I've been like, would I? What would I have 
done what I have. I mean, there's like, it's something interesting because when I was a little kid, I was always like putting on shows and performing yeah. and stuff like that. But then when I was like in middle school and high school, I was kind of like shyer. Yes. I wasn't doing that stuff as much. I and think yeah. my experience around Wow, that's going to sound terrible. No. With having a teenage daughter. Yeah. There comes a point. I was about to say my experience around teenage girls, <laughs> which I just meant her and her friends. Yes, yeah. Um, is there just seemed to become a day with all of them where they were, where they were like, I don't want anyone looking at me. <laughs> yeah. Stop looking at yeah. me, world. Yeah. And, you know. And so I think that's, you know. Yeah. So I think I think that's true, like, because you just want to be the same as everybody else yeah. and you don't want to really stand out. Yeah. And so I think I wonder in some ways I'm thinking through this as I say it, like in some ways, I guess because I was sick, I didn't have the choice. Like I kind of had to stand out and I maybe mm. reminded me that I actually love that attention and I love, mm. you know, but I also I yeah, it was such a helpful thing when I was sick. I don't know. I really don't know. I truly, I remember being in eighth grade, which was like a year before I was diagnosed, and taking, um, and taking a career quiz. We all had to take a career quiz, yeah. and um, I think the career I got was newscaster. Oh, yeah. So I think I I was interested in performing still, but was I don't know. I really don't know. But not about the real world. No, I, 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 yeah, I think the, the career test was saying, yeah, you'll want to perform about, um, like, yeah, uh, a three car pile up <laughs> yeah. and you're like, nope. And I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. I yeah. started out in, in college in journalism and, and realized like, I don't care about other stories. Like I just want my stories. I don't care about real things. I want fake things. That's how, when I went to college, I was like, I really was into um, like chemistry and stuff. I really mm -hmm. liked science in high school. And I thought I started out as like a biology major. Mm. That's how, that was like my, you had to like put something down right. and I put down biology. And in my mind, I think I was like, I'll be a biology teacher who or I'd be a, bio a biologist who has like her own show, <laughs> or like, or like a like a medical researcher who's like who's also a who's birthday like, clown. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> does like a does like a her own show about right. medical? Sure. Like everything sort of ended with like me having with my, own, my show. own show. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then it was like, and then and then I found You've been accepted to Harvard Medical School. Great. I mean, that's fine and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got to get the show go, together. but I'll do like yeah, a reality yeah. show while I'm in the. <laughs> but I think that um, yeah. So then I think col in college I started taking really. I started off with like a really tough biology class, and it was so hard. And I think they were trying to weed out the not yeah. the people who would yeah. do pre med and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I got it. I got to be a communications major. Let's, yeah, yeah. So that made it sort of clear. <laughs> could, yeah, yeah. I could do that. 